The hyperbolic tree browser is a focus plus context technique for browsing large hierarchies. Here we see a recent org chart of Xerox Park containing over 300 nodes. The root of the tree is at the center of the circle, and successive levels of the tree are closer and closer to the edge of the circle. The edge is kind of like a vanishing point. Spacing gets smaller and smaller as nodes approach the edge, but the entire tree is displayed inside the circle. The structure of the tree is prominent, even when some nodes are too small to display text. For example, staff positions can be distinguished from line positions. By clicking on a node, we bring it into the focus area. Thus, we can see more of the detail in that part of the org chart while maintaining the context of the whole. We can also grab a point in the space and drag it around as we like. To achieve crisp dragging and to keep transitions under one second, rendering of the tree is degraded in a couple of ways. Notice that the arcs are turned into straight lines and less of the exponential fringe is painted. The hyperbolic browser, like other focus plus context techniques, deals with the shortage of screen space by showing more about a few amidst a little about many. Here we use wafers to show the amount of space available for node information. Notice how nodes grow as they approach the center and shrink as they recede. We can interactively adjust how space is proportioned, say perhaps to introduce a sort of spatial socialism. The hyperbolic browser can support other types of hierarchical data sets, e.g. part assemblies. For some applications, an alternative layout works better. Here we have the children of the node in focus fanning out to the right. As a new node is clicked on, the structure rotates as necessary to orient that node's children to the right. A particularly interesting application area of late is the World Wide Web. Here we see an overview of the Xerox web server with the Xerox homepage at the center and with linked pages displayed as children. By clicking near a node in this image map, a request is handled by a web server script which generates a new image with the new node centered. By clicking on a node, the web browser is directed to load the page represented. Of course, this constrains the user to the glacial interaction typical of the web. An alternate strategy is to use a sidecar helper app. We regain our nice crisp interaction even on this 4,000 plus node structure. However, the cost is that multiple versions for different platforms and or web browsers have to be developed. A third alternative is to use Java to get both local interaction and platform independence in one fell swoop. The Java implementation of the hyperbolic browser can also be used to display arbitrary hierarchical objects delivered through the web. For example, this is the park org chart again. This time we use thumbnail pictures on the nodes. This visualization continues the work on developing focus plus context techniques for various kinds of information structures.